Welcome everyone. Here's my new sand table design. I've named it the Trinity Sand Table and it can make different uh, patterns like petals and circles. And the nice feature about this sand table is you can erase it by just giving it a little shake right here. Um, normally you'd have to use an erase uh, function to, to erase. And it, it draws uh, circles quite nicely. And it's a nice fixture that you can put on your table. I've made it entirely uh, from three millimeter wood sheets. And so everything is just laser cutted. And using the laser is much better than the 3D printer because it cuts so fast. It's just using a one Arduino and the CNC shield and using two potentiometers to turn it on. And that will change the speed of the uh, stepper motors. It's just using two stepper motors. Uh, the laser cutter is um, very useful because you can cut the parts so fast and it just makes the assembly so easy as well. I made it more like a puzzle and so it's easy to connect all the pieces and then you can just go around to make the walls on the top uh, there. So why did I choose a circular design? Well, if you remember, recall from my uh, older design, I made a sand table from a coffee table and it just used straight lines. It was more linear in nature because I wanted to fit everything on the Arduino Uno. You, know, you have to store all the points. But when you're doing circles, the G code is so much. So I wasn't able to fit too many designs because a linear design in nature, a square only had five points, but a circle had 129 points. But I find that circles look quite nice. So I had to rely on loops and different uh, arrays to get uh, the designs that I wanted because it was using linear rails and then the magnets were on there. So that was just the good thing about uh, this design is it's good for making lines, but it's not the best for making circles. Uh, but the lines are quite straight. You can see that, you know, the circle, it doesn't look quite as nice. And you still have to use the erase feature to get everything because it's so big on a coffee table. With right. the circular design, it just sits shake. on the table. It's more like a fixture. And then you can play around with it and interact. You can always uh, uh, give it a shake as well. And so that's made me go on to a journey to make a circle and design. I've tried wooden gears. I've tried uh, using belts. I went back to the drawing board this trying that's the beautiful thing is when you're trying something new you're going to learn and I started with uh, a scare design but I found that the uh, arm was a little bit wiggly at the outside because the gears were a little bit bigger and it didn't have the strength that I was looking for because when the arm was totally extended it wasn't as strong and so uh, even though I didn't uh, end up finishing and uh, using the scare robot design, I was able to uh, learn lots about the different math and I programmed in Desmos the, it. And so I just like the circular design. Um, it's, uh, it looks nicer on the table and using the potentiometers is nice too because before I was using a remote control and it's easy to lose. So if the, the potentiometers are on the device, you'll never lose it. And so this is kind of how it works. When you turn on the, the potentiometers, the light turns on and it controls the two inner side motor or the outside motor. And this is a more stable design because it has the arm that is um, supported. It's just on a, a rail that kind of goes in and out that has the gear in the middle and when you have them both going the center one has a counter rotation and so for every uh, there's like a hundred uh, teeth on the bigger diameter and then there's 10 so it's a ratio of 10 to 1 and it makes the circles quite easy and when you're prototyping I just used the, the breadboard and this is kind of what it looks like underneath the maintenance are just touching and then it's uh, rotating there underneath you can see the arm going in and out just using two stepper motors 
So I've uploaded the schematics on um, the, in the comments. You can download uh, them for free and cut them. I've also uploaded the Google SketchUp because if you go and look at the file, I put the hidden uh, part there that you can unhide and you can actually see the 3D um, uh, parts that it, it will show you how I put the parts together so you can build your own. So hopefully this helps that you can make your own circular sand table just using wood there and enjoy the designs and um, I have a couple other day ideas coming so I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy electronics and want to learn more about electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys later.